Did your family and friends have any reservations about you guys signing up to do this? What was the reaction? See, my this was uh, special for me because my mom passed away, mm. and I'm sorry uh, to hear that. But she was a huge Lisa Vanderpump fan, so I kind of get a little emotional because oh. like this is it's really special, uh, and so like it was a no burner for me. Sure. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> And then I, you know, I got the call and I was just like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm doing this. And I, and I never forget, she called me and I started crying. And I was like, all right, my bad for crying. I'm sorry. With Lisa? But, yeah. Aww. And then that's when I was just like, oh yeah, this is it's crazy. So wow. family. Kind of a full circle moment. Then. Full, very full circle. Yeah. And I'm sure a lot of people have similar, you know, it's, it's yeah, it's crazy. Like, it's crazy. You so. were talking to someone who lost their mom and I told her I want to do this. So yeah. like, I know that feeling. Yeah. But what do you think your mom would say about you getting this job and working with LVP. She's gonna just say how proud of me she is. Yeah. Um, and that's all that really matters. That's, that's what I'm here for, so. Yeah. She's definitely proud of you. How did this job find you? I find myself in transition phases a lot in mm. life. And I was just on my email one day and I just read a spectacular opportunity. I'm like, you know what? Let me just apply and just, I spoke so honestly about myself. Yeah. I was like, text my mom. I'm like, oh my gosh, someone from LA just called me. Oh my gosh, they're asking me for this. Oh I'm like, mom, I think this is actually like Could getting happen. somewhere. And my mom is funny because you know Jamaicans, mm. Jamaican parents. They're like, of course, like you deserve it. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like what do you mean? Like, what do you mean? Yeah. Like this so. So they were like, jump at this chance. Yeah. Right? Vanderpump Villa is a curated luxury experience. It's not just a hotel. It's a fantasy. All my staff has to do is execute my wishes. I think y'all have the best job at the villa. You're the mixologist. Yes. That's okay, right. so you're serving up the drinks. Yes. yes, all day, every day. How fun is that? It's a blast. It's exciting. It's sticky. It's <laughs> very sticky. Bartenders are the best people. You're the ones that are talking to the guests yes. the most, right? right? Who doesn't want to chop it up with the with the bartender, right? Everybody wants to be friends with the bartender. Exactly. Literally, everybody sits there. They'll even come. Oh, we were born in our room, uh, and we wanted to just come down and talk to you guys. Oh. So here we are. I, love I think it. code talk is for like we just want alcohol. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Turn up. <laughs> right. But, I mean, I don't blame them. When I go out, I like to sit at the bar. Vacation. I'm like, that's all yeah. I'm doing. Is exactly. Eating yeah. and drinking. I am not here for a long time. I'm here for a good time. <laughs> I, that's right. Now, is there a signature drink at the villa? What's I have the telly. What's that? Oh, I can't tell you it's a secret. Oh. But it's really good. It's good. No, it's pretty. Okay. It's flavorful. Okay. It's balanced. Okay. And I made it. Ooh, period. Mm -hmm. And yours? It's better than Dre's. Dre's. Uh, well, I have the Dre Day. Okay. You and just you're... made that up. No, I didn't. It's called the Dre Day. <laughs> and clearly, my drink don't play. Uh, what? Uh, okay, I, what's in the Dre Day? I'm not saying anything else. Just know my drink does not play. What's Can you give me a flavor day? profile? Like, yes. Or like a, uh, sweet know? and Thank spicy. You. Sweet and spicy. Mm. Just like you, Dre, or what? <laughs> yeah, you know, sweet and spicy. It, it, did y'all know each other before you came here? No. Mm -mm. How would you describe your relationship? We're besties. He loves me. And we're both Americans. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. yes. And you never met. Oh, so it's fiery behind that bar. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. It's like beauty and muscle. I thought you were going to say beast. I was, I was going to say beast, but I wasn't going to. I wasn't trying to offend you in front there of you our go. new wow. guests here, OK? No, everyone's really attractive here. I have to say that. Very handsome, very beautiful. Thank like, you. Lisa Thank knew who she was picking, right? Yes. I never lived with coworkers. Get out of my room. Ready to party, ready to have fun. It feels like I'm back in college. What has been the experience like with the rest of the cast here? Really? But yeah. it's fun. Yeah. Like, we're all a family. Like, me and Dre are obviously closer than everybody sure. because we bonded, yeah. like, off of our backgrounds. But it's like, when you fight with your brothers and your sisters, mm -hmm. you can, like, push them down one day, but then you're like, oh, no, I'm sorry, I pushed him down on the ground. Here, let's bake you cookies. You're probably also the first person to jump in and help, like, defend him or something, yes. too, right? Oh, yes, she is. Yeah. Sometimes he tries to tell me, it's cool. Telly, it's okay. calm down. It's okay. Telly's Stay out of it, but I love that. Yeah, I'm actually the calm one of the group. So who would you say is the troublemaker of the group? There's no troublemakers. Yeah. No, oh. we're like all, we're all like. You're mis working. Yeah, yeah. And we're all misunderstood. Like, I oh, so? just totally bad. Like, we all work in hospitality. Like, we all have opinions. Mm -hmm. Like, hospitality and restaurant industry can just like get yeah. stressful. Sure. So sometimes when you're doing a lot and you have 17 things on your mind, mm. when you say something, it may not come out the best way. Because and it's just a high stress exactly. situation. Exactly. We like may that. not, like it's, but no one, sometimes we take it personal, sometimes we don't. I get it. But there's, 
yeah, a no level trouble. of understanding. Sure. Lisa says no drinking behind the bar, but I don't feel like that rule applies to me. If I need a beer, give me the f beer. I don't want food coming angry. You are true doing a job. We know on The Real Housewives and on Vanderpump Rules, like things really go down at dinners, right? And vacations. And here the show has both elements. So how wild is this show going to be? It's going to be it's wild, intense. Right? What on earth is going on? What a tattletale. I know he told. Do you know how hard I work to make this all perfect for my guests? How would you compare the drama on this show to, say, Vanderpump Rules? Vanderpump Rules is very home-based, you know? Mm. Like, you see a lot of their, like, issues, mm -hmm. but you don't see a lot of work-related issues. True. Yeah. Like, we all work together, and we all live together. Mm. So there is no, I'll talk to her tomorrow. It's yeah. like, damn, like, what to do right now? I'm gonna have to sleep right next to you. Oh, I see. You know? Yeah. So like, there has to be a resolution because we're in each other's faces 24 seven. Totally, but that's probably what causes a lot of that tension sometimes too, right? Because you can't you're, escape it. You can't escape, you can't it. escape it. You're literally on top of each other yeah. and you gotta work together too on top of that. So exactly. and I, here y'all are mic'd 24 seven, or nearly. No, just 24 seven. All they, day. They can wow. hear me snoring. <laughs> So, uh, you don't need a mic to hear. Let me make it very perfectly clear. One thing, you this do not need break, a mic to hear it's okay. Dre snore. I had a glass of water next to Stop. my bed, and I saw the ripples. Not Jurassic Park. <laughs> <laughs> not Jurassic Park. <laughs> wow, like that. Okay. Oh, the walls I'm are, sorry. It's I, okay. It's the okay. walls are thin, huh? It, it's. Well, or, she or sings bad just... in the shower. So. <laughs> now we're just airing everything no, out. Huh? Now it's getting petty. <laughs> Wow. There's okay. the spicy of the sweet and spicy. Okay. <laughs> um, speaking of spicy, Lisa's a tough boss. I know that. But she also seems like a mother figure to y'all. Yes. What's it been like working with her? Oh, uh, first day I came in, I was, you know, not scared. I was nervous. Intimidated, I'm sure. Yes. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. She's a, when she walks in the room, she walks in the room. She right? commands that. <laughs> mm. yeah. Love it. Lisa's called an emergency meeting. This is a business. I don't know what you think we're doing here, but I'm telling you now, this could actually take the whole thing down. She has this weird way of having everybody open up and like making you really feel like, hey, this is like a mother figure. Uh, Cause she's open 24 seven. If you want to talk to her, you can. And you can talk to her about anything. She's gonna tell you right or wrong, but she's always gonna have your back. Yeah. And as a boss, right. I know we we all can appreciate that. Right. Because she always wants to hear both sides, every side. Yeah. And she always just wants to give good advice for us. I never expected to like be in South of France with mm -hmm. Lisa Vanderpump with cameras in my face 24-7. Yes. And it could be overwhelming. Sure. But she has a way of like seeing you mm. and seeing when like the anxiety is starting to build to kind of let you be like, remember gonna be great. Yeah. Just relax, be yourself. <laughs> it's okay. And I'm like, I'm mad you did. how did you? I, that was really was, good. Was I've, been was I've been crushing it. I've been crushing it. Crushed. What? That's what? Four weeks of production, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's a month with no. Lisa Vanderpump. I get it. I get but it. it's strange. Like she just is really good at like looking out for us mm -hmm. and sensing when there's tension or there's mm -hmm. something going on. And she's really good at de-escalating it and like reminding you, like, hey, I have your back. Sure. It's a lot of work, a lot of pressure. I want everything to be perfect. I don't want to let Lisa down. We need espresso. Great. It's all in French. I think this show is going to be a hit. I'm going to say that right now. <laughs> you do? I really do. How are you mentally preparing for that kind of level of fame if it happens? <sighs> I know. Like, Not us taking a deep breath at the same time. I know, because you know, we've seen we've seen these people on like Vanderpump Rules become household names, but also their laundry is out for the world to yeah. in the park. I think I can speak for the both of us that like being yourself mm. is always going to win at the end. Like we're one hundred percent authentic at all times. Yeah, yeah that's being true, yourself. Yeah. And yeah. I, I think that always wins. One hundred percent. That'll ground you. Yes. Yeah. Right? It's just like. Nobody wants to see someone that's perfect. Like, we're all humans, mm -hmm, you know? Mm -hmm. We all have our issues. We all feel some type of way. Yeah. And it's like, I don't want to come on here to portray this perfect human being. Mm -hmm. Like, I've done, I've done a lot of self-healing sure. with myself. Yes. So it's like, I'm human, mm -hmm. you're human, and we're all okay. What is wrong with him? Apologize. Hey, sorry. Apologize. Do you know how bad it looks fighting in front of the guests? Oh yeah, we gotta talk about the uniforms because you were telling me, Dre, that you never owned white jeans before yes. now. What do you think of the uniform? It was very eye-opening. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, what, what keeps it going, honestly, and I don't want to sound arrogant, is that the guests are like, oh my gosh, you 
oh, you look very handsome in this yeah. lavender. Yeah. And I was just like, oh, this is lavender? I would have called it purple, so <laughs> this is crazy. And so I get that, and then the white pants is, you know, they're pretty tight, but okay. got them stretchy. So. But your shirt doesn't look as tight as Marciano's, so you thought you're winning there. Yeah, I was honest with myself, because <laughs> I eat some. Hey, hold your head up. Yeah. Oh, you got no. body, it's Listen, okay. And you know, it's, I'm a big guy. So, you know. He asked for a size smaller. I know exactly. he Exactly. He it, told me. It, <laughs> I'm not joking. I'm so glad we... <laughs> when I found out I got this like job, I was like, it's time to go find puffy sleeves, flowy dresses, uh -huh. long skirts, yep. pastels. Like, And then they gave me this uniform, and I'm like, I have the perfect bow. I have the perfect earrings. Like, I was actually, like, <laughs> I belong here. You were ready. I was born ready. She was born for this big <laughs> And She has this thing where she matches her eyeshadow with the color of the drink. Yeah. Because you're a style girly, I can yeah. tell. And it, the, the whole look and glam mm -hmm. is part of it. If there's one thing about me, I'm gonna come out with a look. That's right. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. <laughs> Will y'all make me a drink later? Say yes, less. Yes. Tequila. Yep. Man, exactly. Got you. Okay, listen. Yes! <clears throat> okay? Because I'm Latino. I need it. I said I was going to do a mezcal. Wait, actually, I want to taste both of your signature drinks. You make my job so easy. 